Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've been receiving so many requests for an updated what I eat in a day video. So here today we're going to be doing a what's in my gym bag video. This is who I am as a person. Like and subscribe. Okay, so I've seen a few of these what's in my gym bag videos and I've seen people packing pretty much everything but their kitchen sink in their gym bag and I don't really think that's practical. So I wanted to make my own video just pretty much covering the gym essentials. So what you want in your gym bag plus a couple little razzle dazzles that you may not have thought of, I've got you covered. Okay, so step one is to get yourself an extremely sexy gym bag. Tick. This is the DB duffel bag, um, newly released. I've been gonna, I'm gonna link it down below. This is not an ad, but if you want to stream a sexy gym bag, then here we are. I'm going to take you through some of the features of it. No, it's not, it's not an ad. Calm down, Danny. I'm going to take you through what's in the gym bag. Right, stay on track. Far out, that zip slides really nicely. Okay, so in the main compartment of my gym bag, super roomy, may I add, um, I have, oh, I have so many good, this is actually kind of exciting because I keep forgetting what I actually packed in here. Um, this is legit what I have in here. Some things might be a little bit smelly. Don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so first and foremost, the most important thing I believe at the gym is to bring a gym towel. I usually use just a bath towel. It's very large. I would actually recommend having just a normal gym towel because it takes up a lot less room in your bag, although this bag can handle it. Am I right? So this is your pretty standard gym towel. I mean, the leopard print is not a requirement, but it is strongly recommended if you want to have a good session. Now, next. Oh. I'm trying to go in order of priority, so I'm just looking in my gym bag, and I would say the next most important thing that you need, ooh, it depends if you're a hydrated girl or you're a smelly girl. Okay, we're gonna go hydrated girl. Water bottle, very important, um, unless you wanna drink out of the little bubble of things, which um, ain't nobody got time for that. You get like this much, this much water, and then just, you know, no. Okay, next, smelly gal, this, super important. I'm not sponsored by Rexona, but oh my goodness, hit this smelly gal up. Um, very important for the gym. You don't want to be that person in the gym that you know that everyone just kind of keeps moving away from a little bit and you're like, what's going on? Although actually, you could claim a squat rack like that. Maybe maybe not worry about this. Maybe it won't be an essential for you. See, I told you that this is my actual gym bag and I didn't pre-pack this because there's just like this little, this little antibacterial wipe that's just found its way out of its package and probably from boxing this morning. Not gonna lie. Smells a little bit like boxing. Okay, so now we're on search for the aha. This is where this one came from. This is the mothership. I strongly recommend these antibacterial wipes. Um, I, actually, I strongly recommend everything that's in the gym bag. It's my gym bag. Um, but the gym is a filthy, filthy place where you can make glorious gains, but still filthy. So you want to make sure that you have these with you, especially if you do boxing. I've been really getting into boxing lately. And as soon as my hands leave those mitts, like there's this is a pungent odor and this will not, this will not suffice. You don't spray your hands with deodorant anyway. What am I doing? Going off topic. We need to go into the next thing. Okay, so scrap the order of priority. I'm just going deep in here and I'm just going to pull random things out. This is exactly what's in my gym bag. So, <laughs> I mean, important. I'm not going to lie. Um, I add this to every leg day. If you don't add this to leg day, I mean, I'm just thinking that you may be jeopardizing your gains is all I'm saying. I mean, you may not be, but if you want to add this to your glute activation and also your exercises, it's just going to take your booty to the next level. So... Consider it. You know, I probably should have talked a little bit more about the booty band and what it actually does. Oh, I have another one, so <laughs> let's discuss. Um, so basically, this is the DV booty band. Um, we have reverse grip on the inside, so if you're wearing shorts, you can just flip the band over. If you're wearing leggings, the band's gonna stay in place with the grip. I add these to, um, like I said, my leg day sessions. Basically, um, it engages your glutes more, so you're not just relying on your surrounding muscles in your legs and everything to overcompensate for, like, we call it like, you know, lazy glutes or when your glutes aren't properly activated. So when your glutes are activated and, and engaged, it means that you're actually going to properly use them during your leg day session. So when you squat, your glutes will actually kick into gear and work as well. And not just, you know, your surrounding muscles in your quads and also a bit of your hamstrings, you know, that sort of situation. So when people find that their legs are growing and their glutes are not, a lot of the time it's because they haven't properly activated their glutes. Hope that helps. I ranted a little bit, but I just really, really love the booty bands. What else do I love in here? Oh, okay, more. I mean, didn't mean to pull out more DV products, but I mean, damn, if the slide fits, um, these are our new slides. Um, and I take these to gym with me just to add, I love them for core workouts. So basically the way that these work is that if you're on a particular surface, so if you're on carpet, you use this side. And if you're on like a timber surface, you use 
Now this side this is a foam side versus like a slippery slidey side. Slippery slidey. Um, and the good thing about this is that you really engage your core because you're kind of like trying to stabilize yourself as you're using them. So um, I take them to the gym because they don't have these at the gym, but they do have them on our website. Alrighty, what next? Oh, okay. So I take a spare pair of socks with me because if you try to train without socks, let me tell you, not a good time. Um, and then I have like, I have two options. So these are, these are the DB like long boy socks. They're not actually called the long boy socks, but they're called the rabbit socks, but I, I like the, they are a long boy. I mean, come on, if the shoe fits, get it. It's a sock. Anyway, um, good socks. I like these socks and these are just bond socks and they're just like little ankle socks. So I have options. I like having options at the gym. Um, also, if you get cold carbs, oh, covered. Next. Okay, so in this bag, there's like a little internal zip. And I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to keep my like tampons <laughs> in this zip, but then they were just kind of like in the bag. So, but like I said, I didn't pre-pack this bag for this video. So let me tell you that you keep them in here because you a lady. So anyway, so there's like a little secret compartment here for like girly secrets and these girly secrets are tampons! Heaps and heaps of tampons! And um, I'm gonna chuck them over here. Um, also, a little g-string, a little razzle-dazzle. Um, I think I've said razzle-dazzle before, but I think it's fitting for this g-string that you pack in your bag. Um, basically the reason I packed an extra g-string is because you never know, you know? You never know when you're gonna use a g-string. Also it kind of like doubles up as floss, so I promise I have not loaded this glorious DB duffel bag with DB products, but I just happen to use them. So, I mean, this is not even available, if I'm being honest. Um, it's an ankle strap. So, a lot of gyms don't have ankle straps that you use for cable machines, so I have my own. And um, I take this with me to the gym. So, um, good. And I always take this with me. This is Women's Best BCAAs. A lot of the time I will actually carry whey protein, but I'll fill my shaker with the whey before, so I won't keep that in my bag. I just feel weird about that. But these these are great in the bag. Um, so this is watermelon flavor, as I always say. The most delicious flavor. And um, yeah, and a little cup of I'm actually surprised. I didn't use this one this morning, so that's why it's not filthy. But I usually forget about my shaker, leave that in the bag, kind of let it brew, and then come back to a nice little surprise. Um, anyway, I have a few shakers. I have some sunnies. I have another ankle strap. I must have thought I didn't pack my ankle strap, packed another ankle strap. Couple of ankle straps, you don't, you probably just need one ankle strap. You can just take it off and put it on the other ankle if necessary. Um, Cause we're being practical here. Okay, so other things. So in the side of this, the back of this bag, my apologies, um, we'll find, I have a lot of hair and, oh, actually let's move on to that first. I was just getting bothered by my hair and then I remembered this is one of the most important things ever. I'm just gonna get amongst. So if you don't have one in your wrist, which I always do because I have a lot of hair. Um, make sure that you pack hair ties in your gym bag. Very, very important. I don't think that I could do a gym session with my hair out. I think I would just be, I would just be so angry. The only gains I would be making is gains towards the door, out the door, in my car, home, nah. What else in this little treat over a pocket over the side? Lip balm. Don't know why this is in here, other than the fact that I've got really dry lips right now. So I obviously was like, you know, might want to do that mid, mid set. Does, that's not a necessity unless you have dry girl lips like I do. Um, then this. Wow, I struggled with that. These. Okay. Let me tell you a story. I've been through some headphones. I've seen some things in my time and I've experienced some things and I can't tell you how long it took me to find a good pair of headphones. This is not sponsored and I'm not going to tear apart the other brands that were just completely failed on me mid-session. I can't recommend these Bose headphones enough. They're the sound sport headphones and they just go like this. Oh, I'm just gonna move a lot of this hair and uh, oh, oh, there's more of it. Okay, just nice. Um, just go like this, which is like, I like this, this little feature more than um, the AirPods, the Air, AirPods, oh my goodness. Um, I think they're called AirPods. Um, that, you know, when they just stick in your ear, because if someone tries to talk to you, which I mean, like when you're doing a session, you probably don't want that in the first place because you know, focus, eyes on the prize. Um, but you're just kind of holding this little bud. Like you're holding like the little top of like a toothbrush that looks like, you're just holding it. Whereas this is just chill, you know? Anyway, these are great, would recommend. Now it's summer in Australia and you get really sweaty during your workouts. So lately I've been just heading straight to the beach. I pack my bikini in my gym bag 
all the time because you never know when you're just going to feel like hopping in the water. So I live on the Gold Coast and we're lucky enough to have these most beautiful pristine beaches all around us. So I actually have a wet section of this bag. So you put all your wet gear in this section and um, you try not to forget about it because much like um, leaving protein in your bag, it just gets a little bit funky. Um, but there's my bikini. So I just pop them in here and whenever I want, I can just skedaddle to the beach. And then you can double up your gym towel as your beach towel and it's just great. Okay, so the final thing I wanted to show you on this gym bag and also something that you can take in your gym bag is contained within this pocket over here. So this pocket is actually so that you can store your shoes. It's separated from the rest of the bag. So you can just pop your shoes in here and it won't make the rest of the contents in your bag yucky or dirty. Um, I actually, one thing I don't have in here on account of me eating it is snacks. So I usually take some sort of like protein bar with me to the gym as well. The women's best protein bars are delicious. So I usually take them with me or some other delicious snack. I'm a big fan of granola. If there's some sort of granola or trail mix, that's in the gym bag. So um, as I said, I ate it. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, you can put your shoes in here. It'll be separated from your snacks and all the rest of the goodies. Um, but I usually am wearing my shoes. so. <laughs> They're not in here right now. So what I keep in this pocket is a reusable shopping bag. It doesn't have to be DB active, but it could be. I tend to do all of my grocery shopping after the gym or after a swim, which was after the gym. And either way, I have my gym bag with me. So I like having a little reusable shopping bag with me because plastic is a no-no. That's pretty much it. Um, so I keep that in the side pocket and that's, that's me done. Oh no, wait, I need to show you this little pocket on the outside of the bag. So I keep my keys in here and it's easy access because it has my gym tag on it. Um, and then I can just grab them, scan in, do that sort of thing. It's just, oh, it's just beautiful, seamless. And I can also put my phone in there as well, which is a good fun time. A lot of things going on down yeah. here. Perfect. So that is what's in my gym bag and my recommended gym essentials. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and also let me know what other videos you would like to see. Like, would you like to see what I eat in a day? Because if so, I can show you my beachy hair routine. Just kidding. I'm working on it. I'll actually probably just go grocery shopping for what I eat in a day video um, next week and I have my reusable bag. So we're set. I will see you next week for a potential, maybe, what I eat in a day. Probably not. I think it's going to be a dumbbell leg workout. Anyway, see you then. Bye.